G'day, I'm Dr Kev, and up until now, I've been using a CAD model of a driver that I found online, so I've asked my friend and colleague, Professor Alex Russell, to scan me so I can use it to create a more accurate driver model. Welcome to Car Design Workshop. How do we do this? All right, so, uh, yeah, well, assume your pose, number okay, one. Okay, assume, assume the pose. Yes. And I notice you've worn black trousers, but anyway. Is that bad? <laughs> it's not ideal, but hopefully they're uh, creased enough that we'll get enough detail, but yeah. Oh, okay, so you want something that's quite reflective. No, not reflective, not reflective, but something with some... Shadow. Exactly, with gotcha. some detectable... The problem is black next to black next to black. It can easily lose tracking, but it's... I think, I think the black hides the belly better. The dark <laughs> colours. Um, so, what's going to happen is... So, I'll start with your face. Yeah. So, the, the key thing is obviously try to stay as still as possible for the process, which does take a few minutes. I'll be as quick as I can. Obviously, what's hardest to keep still is your face. Okay. So, I'll, basically, I'll do a couple of passes. So, I'll do one pass sort of straight on and then one pass that comes up to try and capture under the chin a bit more. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll go behind and do the head from behind. But it's really just those two passes across the front. You've got to try and keep your features as still as possible. Okay. Um, and then after that, you worry less about the face, but try and keep everything else still. So but even while the face is still, I've just got to try and keep everything. Exactly. Everything still the whole time. I mean, obviously, I mean, you can see where I'm at with the scanning, but it's, yeah, just in general, um, you're never quite sure what the field of view is to know what it is or isn't detecting. Um, but yeah, and hopefully you're not prone to epilepsy because there's lots of strobing flashing <laughs> lights that are about to hit your face. <laughs> well, I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, um, and I mean, it's up to you whether you want to smile or what kind of expression you want to convey. There's no way I can hold a smile for 15 <laughs> minutes. No, no, like, it's not. I mean, me, me scanning the face will be oh, like, okay. so, will be like and then, less than a minute. Then you stitch them together. Well, well, no, I mean, once, once I've scanned the face, then it doesn't matter. I'll be further down. You can okay. do anything you want with the face. So <laughs> you, you can probably hold a, scar, a smile for, the, for a minute, which, it, yeah, I mean, it's up to you. It depends on, like I say, what you're going to use this for. And yeah, I'll, I'll try and be neutral. All right, try and be neutral. I don't know how that works in the animation side of things and whether you can do the, the, the face animation or not. Let me just find my range, which is about there. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, uh, with the hands, I'm not quite sure what's better for the animation. You think the fingers blade is the right uh, way? Or? I, can, I can put the fingers. I mean, it doesn't matter for me. It's like, it depends what ma what's better for you. I'm, I don't know if you know oh, no, that no, that's, that's fine, because they'll just, yeah, it's, uh, all it's going to model is being around a steering wheel or something like that. So, yeah, it's more the body proportion, so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, admittedly, in terms of capturing details, it might be h hard to get between the fingers. I'm not sure, but. Maybe close together might be better. All right, so are we ready to hold still? Yeah? All right, I will start now. Scanning. Well, now that this scan is taking place, it's a good time to say thank you for all of those that have been watching these videos, especially those that have subscribed. Uh, if you're new to the channel, now's a great time for you to click on that subscribe button. Make sure you leave a comment. I love uh, responding to them. And please share this video with your friends. Yeah, so that's the face done.
feel free to relax your arms because I'm not going back up there. Relax the arms? Yeah, it's fine. I'm not going back up there. I'm only doing the feet now. Black trousers and black shoes, unfortunately, is not optimal, but should be, should be good, I think. The beard is going to be the other thing that will give it grief. We'll see how that comes out. Beards are also significantly non-ideal. Yeah, I probably can't remove it too, too much. <laughs> we'll find out. It's all down to how well the AI does its job. It's, it definitely um, shows everything, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. All right, that's good. Now, should we do one with a more natural pose so we can print you? <laughs> okay, what's a more... Okay, well, hands in pockets. Yeah, hands in pockets is good, yeah. Okay, and maybe... Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, this is so you can print it in the... Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, in various forms. We need the, the, the laser one that Nando wants. Yeah. What's the laser one Nando wants? The laser eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to get it back up this way as well. So same thing, just the face first. This one you should definitely try and smile for. <laughs> All right, and here we go. Handsome looking fella. Oh yeah. The white beard suits, yeah, can I just say? <laughs> well, too much of the beard's white now anyway. <laughs> so is this an automated process? Yeah. How does it deal with the fact that there is no data around the hair? Uh, I mean, it does a reasonable job. Um, so, I mean, what it shows you here is not representative necessarily of what there is to some degree available, but it, yeah, it is a bit hit and miss. It uses AI to kind of fill in the gaps. Um, do you know what texture resolution you want? No, oh, it doesn't need to be high. Yeah, I'll go 4,000, because you go higher than that, it starts to get really memory hungry. The scan turned out as good as a scan of me could, I guess. And now there's a lot of work to do to create a usable CAD model, but I can leave you with something a little bit of fun in the meantime.